Let's sort out estate stuff as is tradition. Mana privileges, advisor cost privilege, loyalty privilege. Is land. Don't really care about rivals, but if I need to choose them, let's do it. Let's build one galley, that will be enough, and hire one advisor. Now let's wait for one month. No CB Ireland. Now let's just wait until my galley is ready. Now let's raise our maintenance and ask for military access. I'll start transporting my army. And also let's hire more men, just to be sure. Now let's just wait. Okay, now let's make it our vessel and take some money. Oh well, it seems like I'm in quite a pickle. Well, no problem. Okay, just perfect. So, now I have uh, 3 provinces and 1 OPM vessel. You may ask what would I do with this? And I'll gladly answer you that I'll do nothing, I'll just wait until I have exploration ideas. Some may ask, why would I do nothing if I have such awesome mission tree? And again, I'll gladly answer. It's because this mission tree is useless in my case, because I won't keep my European possessions. So let's just score these provinces and just play it all. Oh, and I forgot that I probably should get some allies, so no one declares on me. Let's see. Okay, that's enough. Finally something interesting happened, let's choose reform. Okay, finally, let's choose exploration. And now let's start exploring. Let's explore North Atlantic first. Okay, I already see Greenland, and that means that soon enough I'll start colonizing North America. I just need one colonist, and preferably colonial range. Our glorious party has decided that we don't have many place for gulags, so we'll deal with natives on the spot. I decided that I should take some loans, and buy this advisor. I totally forgot that EU4 colonial distance is really weird, so it may seem that Greenland and Ireland are pretty close, but as you can see, you need a lot of colonial distance to reach it. That means that I'll just wait until Diplotec 7. Just so you understand, let's compare this province, which is as you can see pretty close. And now let's compare this province, which is pretty far away as you can see. Almost the same. Also, let's annex Stormont. Okay, one more diplomatic slot. Let's ally someone. Mecklenburg. Why not? Okay, just perfect. Let's upgrade our deck. And let's finally start colonizing. So I think I'll start colonizing from Greenland. Let's re-educate the natives. Okay, so here we can finally start building our peaceful communist community. And let's get expansion as second idea. By the way, I took this awesome privilege for colonization. So I finally colonized one province in Greenland, and now it's time for relentless push west. In Soviet America, we expel minorities not to USA, but to Greenland. These pesky natives don't want our peasant community to grow, so I'm afraid I don't have a choice. There was one very good Soviet joke, let me rephrase it. Comrade, can we build communism in Europe? Yes, of course we can, comrade. But it would be a pity. <laughs> so let's instead build communism in North America. But no, seriously, I got insane amount of development in one war, and I couldn't even dream of this if I was still in HRE. Also, I won't core any land. Except Manhattan. Why? Uh, because if I have 5 provinces, that means that I'll get colonial nation. And that means that I can't move my capital here. Okay, so now we need to leave Holy Roman Empire. Now let's unstate our provinces in Ireland. And... Okay, first step to forming Communist America is done. Now let's cover the remaining provinces. Oh, by the way, colonialism spawned in Portugal. Well, not a big deal. Let's continue our expansion. 
I just love playing as European power in North America. This is what I call quality. Also, I think I should sell my provinces in Ireland, because as I can see, England wants to conquer it, and I don't need any troubles. Yeah, I understand that it's kinda low price, but I really don't want to wage war against England yet, I'm just too weak for it. Let's also prepare for the next liberations. Ok, so I sold all my Irish holdings. Uh, of course, it's really sad to sell my people to those feudal pigs, but hey, it's just business, nothing personal. You four, are you ok? First, America is not my colony, it's my metropoly. Europe is technically my colony. And second, these awesome, beautiful people are not backwards. They just need help with their ideological struggle. Maybe we are communist, yes. But that doesn't mean that we can't have Supreme Soviet. It's our lucky day. I would definitely draw propaganda poster about friendship between nations, if I could, of course. So now let's ask for maps. The people had their say. They want us to become Protestant, we will become Protestant. Now let's start converting. So I think it's time to finally accept that we can't change status quo in Europe and that we should prevent landowners from rising in Americas. I salute our glorious father nation, this Martian, and pledge to help them in their struggles. So now I have claims in whole East America, so it will be easier to propagate communism. The only problem is that this pesky native didn't accept our new religion, and to convert them I should accept their culture. But I don't want to. I'm America. They should accept our glorious ideology, our glorious religion. They not me. Yes, maybe we are communists, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't be united in prayers. Well, yes, it is good that I formed USA, but I have another little problem. I definitely should have taken religious ideas first, but well, it's my mistake. Let's fix it. Ok, I've almost dealt uh, with unruly population, but there is one small, little, teeny, tiny problem. Natives are massive. It's not that I can't beat them. It's that it will take a long time. So now when our nation is united in belief, we should focus on bringing communism to natives. Oh, we always can find job for undesirables. Ok, let's declare on Iroquois. By the way, I'm not sure why they're so big, right? But they have even less uh, men than these 4 OPMs. It's really weird. But ok, let's declare on them. Why are you running?
Ninsen! Well, comrades, I think you know that our extension is just a number. Oh, next 10 years would be really fun. But on the other hand, I doubled my development, and I think it was totally worth it. Oh, coalitions. <laughs> Love it. Let's raise autonomy so I won't get overwhelmed with rebels. I know that it's not really a good solution, but uh, well, I don't have enough manpower to fight them all. Well, sharing is caring. Hooray, so now we can finally relax, wait until manpower replenishes, and declare on Kree. Well, I think I should end this war here, because it's already lasted for 10 years. I think natives have infinite manpower, and not only that, other natives are lending connoisseurs to them. So it tracks out uh, for infinity and it's really, really boring and tedious. So let's just take this lens and end conquest here. Completely realistic America. But I'm not afraid of these bourgeoisie threats because I only have 12 loans and that's definitely not enough for bankruptcy. Let's bring communism to Panama. Why not? This is what I call freedom. You pick the wrong continent to migrate to Brittany. You pick the wrong continent. It's our first time to demolish bourgeoisie regime in European power. Let's do it. Oh, finally they start leaving coalition. Let's declare Ankri before they enter coalition. You know what's my favorite thing about wars in North America? There aren't any forts at all. It seems like I have some problems with expansion now, because they won't leave the coalition. Maybe I am more advanced than them, but they still have numerical superiority. I'm thinking about annexing this Israel tribe. Well, you know, maybe it's really the best option for me. Let's do it. I'm not sure how it happened, uh, but this federation stole my provinces. But okay, not a problem, I'll just conquer them later. So yes, it's a bit border gory, but true communists don't care about borders. They care about the practical side. And if I take these provinces, then I will be able to colonize Central America. But there is, of course, one small little problem. It's this. I hope that Castile won't declare on me. I hope. But I'm not sure. Perfect, so I just need to remember that I should attack them immediately after truce ends so they don't enter the coalition. Oh, and by the way, let's build some forts, because it's really difficult to live without them. Level 2 forts, of course, natives aren't that strong. Totally worth it, I think. Now natives won't carpet siege me. By the way, I had a lot of events because of my ruler. So let's ally Britain, why not? Yes, I understand that it's a capitalist bourgeoisie that wants to crush all peasants, but let's be honest, England is still better than Castile. Is this some kind of joke? Well, it seems like I won't colonize anything in America. Oh, oh let's declare on them, so they don't join the coalition. So, that's it, yes, that's it, that's it. I'm done. I'm just done. Like, I had fort, but they just assaulted it, because they have unlimited manpower, I think. Let's see what I can secure and call quits on it. That's definitely enough for me, definitely enough. Dear peasants, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I couldn't liberate you, but I'll definitely return to you. Well, originally I wanted to go for influence ideas, uh, but considering my situation in North America, I'm not really sure now. Well, let's go for diplomatic, I think, because I need to conquer a lot of land, and it may help with coalitions. So why not, why not, let's choose this. Okay, okay, so I have genius idea, genius. So, I forgot that I can build colonies here. This means that I can peacefully expand, and I think I'll wait until 17th century and see if coalition disbands or not. Oh well, maybe not, maybe not, let's spread our glorious ideology. Hey you, yes you.
Thank you for watching this video to the end, but there is another part waiting for you to watch it. If you want to see how 